Hey, first grade. Um, so I am just going to review with you a little bit this week. We're going to review the families of the instruments um, that we've been studying. The very first week, if you remember, we studied the string family. Do you remember any of the instruments that have strings? Any of the instruments that we listened to? You listened to four instruments that had strings. This was about five weeks ago. So one of them has string in the name. That's the string bass. So that's the biggest one, actually. In order to play it, you have to stand up to play it. But just like the others, you play it by plucking, blong, 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 or by using a bow, a long bow, almost like almost like a bow that you would use to shoot arrows, um, similar to that. So you'd use a bow to play it. So that's the string bass. Do you remember any, any of the other ones in the string family? You have the violin, the viola, the cello, and then the string bass. Those are the four main string instruments in the orchestra. There are lots of other string instruments, though. You probably have heard of guitars. Um, there's an instrument called the harp that you sometimes see in an orchestra. It's a very large instrument, and um, you play it by just plucking along it. You don't, there are no, you don't use a bow with that. You just always pluck. And, and a harp has a lot of strings. It's a beautiful big instrument. So those are some string instruments. All right, then the next week we listen to the woodwind family. Do you remember any of the instruments in the woodwind family? The woodwind family has instruments that you blow into. So that's why they're called the wind family. And they're woodwind because at one time all of them were made of wood. But now most of them have some plastic or some metal in them. And some of them are made all of silver or gold. You know any woodwind instruments? Okay, so the, these are some of the instruments in the woodwind family. You have the flute. That's the one that's very shiny and you actually blow across it. You don't blow into it and they hold it to the side, the wood, the flute. And then you also have the oboe and the clarinet. And then the, the lowest one in the, in the woodwind family is called the bassoon. So those are the four that you play. There are more too. There's the saxophone, there's recorders, um, there's lots of different kinds of flutes and things. There's lots of woodwind family instruments. Then we had the brass family. The brass family. So all of those are that kind of a shiny goldish color or a brass color because they're made of brass. Um, and all of them you buzz your lips into it. Remember you go <laughs> like that. You buzz your lips into them and then they make loud, strong, um, bright sounds with the, the higher ones. Um, yeah, so do you remember any brass instrument names? Okay, so the higher ones are the are the, the trumpet and the French horn. Those are have the higher sounds. And then the lower ones are the trombone. That's the one with the slide that you move up and down. And then the tuba. And there are more. Again, there's a, one called a baritone and one called a euphonium. Those, I think, actually are the same. Um, but those are all brass instruments as well. And then last week we studied the percussion family. And you remember that there are three ways, main ways, that you play percussion instruments. Do you remember? So you can play a percussion instrument by shaking it, or by striking it, or by scraping it. So those those are the percussion instruments. Is you shake, strike, or scrape them, um, and so that's all kinds of stuff. All kinds of drums, shakers, tambourine, um, and all kinds of things. Triangle that you ding, and um, you also have actually the piano is a percussion instrument because when you play a piano key, it makes a hammer poof, strike a string. So you can also kind of say the piano is a string instrument, but it's also usually put in the percussion family because of this, the hammers striking. The hammers strike the strings, and that's what you hear. Um, so, that's just a little review. 
I have another video for you that shows you and you hear the instruments. Um, you can watch and then your activity is just going to be categorizing these instruments, putting them in the right place. So if you have trouble, you can come back and listen to this, or you could also watch the, the other YouTube video that shows you the, the pictures and that you can hear um, the instruments as well. So, hopefully you learn um, and uh, start to get this even more in your brains. Alright, so good to speak with you, and I'll see you later.